Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby. This is lesson three, module six. You can find data on S17 if you are in the Eureka math series, Great Minds. Um, if not, this will just be a helper of how to make dot plot. So yesterday you learned about how to answer questions based off of a dot plot, and today you're going to actually learn how to make one. So usually you're given a set of numbers. So this set of numbers right here are goals scored by a professional indoor soccer team over the last 23 games. Um, so we're going to take these numbers and we're going to make a dot plot out of them. First thing you need to remember about a dot plot is they need to be in numerical order. So that means you can either be in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. Either way. Um, so we look for our smallest number first. And if we look through that set of numbers, I see that there's an 8. And then when I look back through everything, the biggest number that I see is 16. So I'm going to make a line. And on that line, I'm going to put 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And the in-between spaces will represent the odds. Okay? So here we go. So we count up how many 8s that we have. So then we put three dots above that eight. And then we see that there's nines. We have one, two, three, four nines. So right between, we do four nines. Okay, actually going to do that line a little bit better. I'm going to start where that one is so you can see that four is obviously larger than the three. And then we have tens. One, two, three tens. So start one, two, three. And we've got some 11s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 11s. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 11s. As you can see, I'm concentrating on how to make my stacks all start at the same height, and then you can really tell who's got the most. Now we look for 12s. Um, I only see one 12. And then we go and we scan for 13s, and I only see one 13. And we check for 14s. We have no representation on 14. You still have to keep the numbers. You just don't put anything there. One, two, three on the 15s. And then we have 16s. And that's what we have. Now, you don't have to have the 18 there to represent 18 if there isn't any. So we can get rid of that piece. All right. So that's how you make a dot plot. Then you need a title. This can put at the top or underneath the line. Either is acceptable um, um, thing to do. So this is goals indoor soccer. So there we go on that. Um, so we did a make the dot plot. Now, what number of goals describes the center of data? Center is something that you learned prior to this lesson, which was mean, median, mode, and range. So median is the middle number. So we have to find the number that is representing the center of the data. So we can see that there's three eights and three sixteen. So we can kind of pretend that we're getting rid of those. And then we can get rid of three of the nines with the three fifteens. Uh, and then we still have one nine. So we can get rid of the 13 with the one nine. So now we're down to that set right there. We can get rid of this 12 with one of these 10s. Then we can get rid of two of these 11s with one of those 10s. So we're left with 11s. So our center data is 11. Now, if that is confusing to work off the dot plot, you could rearrange these numbers in order from least to greatest. And then you would just start crossing them out until you get to the center. What is the least goal scored by a soccer team the least amount obviously is our lowest dot which is eight and um, the most number of goals scored by a team which would be 16. and that is how you make a dot plot this is mrs bobby and as always i heart math and i go cry